as we move on to race number two, which is a class four, 1200 metres, uh, Golden Dash heads and just a three stars, one on debut, fourth last time out there behind Handsome Bobo. Shanghai Dragon, fifth behind Silver Fig over the 1200 metres last time. Destin, who's won here over the 1400 metres, here over the 12, of course. Stella Feeling gets the blinkers on for his um, second start. Rocket go off an inside gate, again, lightly raced. Multimax will go forward, as will Formula Galore. And Golden Achiever, blinkers and tongue tie go back on. Well, Golden Dash has to draw barrier 12 here and he'll have to charge from the outside gate and try and match it with Multimax, who's a genuine front-running type. Leisured Feet's a question mark. He can go forward, he can go back. Uh, Rocket Go might be able to sneak through nearer the inside from a good draw. And Stella Feeling's got blinkers going on after his debut, so that should get him out of the gates a little quicker. Uh, here's Leisured Feet. Uh, when he did win, he led all the way down the straight uh, 1,000 metres and he did pull last time here over the 12, so I wonder if they will let him go uh, from barrier number 10. Uh, his track work's been OK. He hasn't, um, I mean, he hasn't really lived up to that earlier promise. Stellar Feeling looks good, and I'm showing this piece because the blinkers go on him. Uh, Tommy Berry aboard, I think he's improved. He's only had the one start, didn't run too badly. The 1200 will really suit this horse. So uh, he's going to have to go in with a chance. And here's uh, these, these horses here with Sky Melody and uh, Formula Galore. Formula Galore is the one in this race here on the closest to us. He's had plenty of runs this season, so he'll be pretty fit. We saw him in that speed map too, Andrew, sort of back in the field. But potentially, as you mentioned uh, when reading through the card, he is a horse that mm. can be right up there. Yeah, mm. all right. We'll have a look at him in a second in action. We'll start off with Golden Dash, though, who was uh, fourth last time out behind a horse that I certainly like. I think he's got some ability in uh, Handsome Bobo. My winner in the field too. He had a claim here too for uh, for Dylan Moe. So now with Nasra Willer jumping aboard, he's going to have to carry the full brunt of 133. He just sort of stayed on here, didn't he? He wasn't um, electric in the way that he found the line, but he was honest. If he zips over from the 12 and gets forward, that's going to give him his best opportunity. Yeah, and he hit the line, I thought, strongly enough here. Um, the question mark here, does have to carry that big weight by Schnitzel? I've, I've got him in the numbers on a minor line. C plus three, top weight, wide barrier, 1,200. Mm. They're not a real lot of positives, really, I wouldn't have thought. All right, his place favourite at the moment. Yes. $660, forty about him. Um, Shanghai Dragon, the next one we have a look at, wide as he comes into the, uh, the straight here. Um, this is just his third start, and again behind probably quite a nice one in Silver Fig. Yeah, yeah I think Silver Fig's a really nice horse. Zach Purden will take over uh, from Pierre Chalbaudot, who's gone now. He drew 14 on this occasion. He's got a bit of draw here in barrier number seven. He'll strip fitter for this run as well. I'm going to side with him. I thought it wasn't a bad run. I thought this was a terrific run. I remember calling the race thinking, oh, this is going to drop off, and then when they got into the stretch, he was still there. Covered more ground than Paul Lally when he's doing exercise, and that's a lot of territory. And as you saw, he just faded late. So here we are, barrier seven, I think a better run, some extra fitness. Uh, nice horse, I like his endeavour. Mm. All right, that's Shanghai Dragon. We've spoken about Formula Galore. Here he is uh, in action along with Fate Fire, fishing fifth and ninth respective, respectively behind uh, horse in the blue jacket, Winners and Pauls. I don't know what to do with Formula Galore, really. I mean, he's capable of bouncing, being right there, but he's getting close to a drop in class. Should he get into five, Paul, he'd be very difficult to beat down there. Yeah, five, class five, Happy Valley for me. Um, Formula Galore and Fate Fire. He, he had a tough trip here, but he's drawn 11 again, so he's going to get another tough one. So I'm happy to watch them both. Actually, I've got neither of them, and I'm happy to watch them both go around. Uh, did I put in... No, I had him on the bench, Formula Galore. I'm going to wait for the drop, too. All right, so uh, it was... In the team, Paul. Well, well, the top of the team here will be uh, Shanghai Dragon. I've got him on top. I think he's an improving horse. Destin was very impressive when he won two starts ago, and he's going nicely at the moment. Uh, Golden Dash, I know he's got the 133 and the wide draw. I still think he'll run OK, though, so I'm going to find a place for him. He's only had the three starts, and he's only a young horse, so he's open to improvement. And I like Stella Feeling with the blinkers on. The cheek pieces come off, and he's only had the one run up to 1,200 metres. Looks uh, pretty good for him. So I went 3, 4, 1 and 6 with the QQP. 134. Well, there'll be no animosity in the Lally Davis team here because <laughs> I've got the same selections in the same order. Shanghai Dragon, Destin, Golden Dash. Despite those negatives I mentioned, I think he's a <clears throat> chance of offsetting that wide barrier and getting over. And Stella Feeling, I think, might be the one that improves a little. But I thought three and four, the Q, might be worth a you know a little crack here. Well, there you go. Same, same, same. Four, one, three, six. Same numbers, slightly different order. Four, one, three, and six. Is that leg of the TT? That it? it's not. <laughs> no. That never works with it. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, we are two races down there. Hopefully we're two winners up as well. We'll take a short break. We'll be back with a third on the all-weather right after this.